to the wings of life. Um, my drug of choice was crack cocaine. And um, in the beginning, you know, I seemed like I could handle it, so to speak, you know, but um, I started prostituting, selling my body to get it. And, um, and that just took me down a, a long, dark road. And, um, okay, all right. And so um, it comes a time in your life and you just know that something's not right and you just know that you're out of God's will and you just know that the things you're doing aren't right and, and there came a time in my life when I was just so broken. I was just broken and I thought I, I, thought I was broken beyond repair, but I wasn't. And I can remember one day I was on the corner looking, waiting on someone to come by that I could, you know, get some money from and um, a big black truck passed by and I didn't know it at the time but it was Minister Inez and she hollered out the window you know come to the wings of life you know come to the wings of life I didn't I never knew about the wings of life and um, as months passed by and you know when things really when my road was just toward, toward the end of the road when things just really started getting darker for me it's this um the sea had been planted and I can remember her saying come to the wings of life get to the wings of life and by God's grace, I've made it <laughs> to the ends of life. And uh, once I got here, you know, people loved on me, encouraged me, and I, I got to know God more, and um, he, and I allowed him to just, you know, work on me from the inside out, where I was able to forgive myself and others for things that had happened to me in the past. And, um, and I just thank God for the Wings of Life, and I thank the donators and all the people that contribute to the Wings of Life because um, it really saved my life. Mm -hmm. I was to cocaine and acid and ecstasy. When I turned 15, I learned how to cook methamphetamines. I was about three, four years doing, selling a lot of drugs. I started seeing my life was going the wrong way. The Lord started calling to me, but I kept running from it. But when I went to Metro, I had a guy named Joe Wilson tell me about a place called Wings of Life Ministries. And I asked him would it help me out in my life. And he told me that it was a great place. There was a lot of spiritual people here that could help me get right with the Lord. And the Lord, I got arrested against what they say, but I believe I was rescued. Whenever I got arrested, I went to jail and I went, had to go finish seven months in prison. When I come back, I had my mama call the pastors here and get me set back up into the wings of life. When I come back to the wings of life, I stayed for two months that time when I went back to doing what I used to do all my life. And then I started crying out to the Lord again and I got in trouble and I went to federal prison. So I got naked with the Lord and I asked him to heal me from all the things that were hindering me from being close to him. And as I submitted to the Lord, he started cleansing me from all that stuff. And he started speaking to me about what he started in my life at Wings of Life Ministries. I started remembering all the things that Pastor Chris and Pastor Glenn had sowed into my life. And as I started praying, I asked him, I said, Lord, open the door for me to make it back to the Wings of Life Ministries. So I got to come back to the Wings of Life on September 19th of uh, 2011. And as I come back to the wings of life, I started getting spiritually strong. I got to meet a lot of great ministers here, and I got to grow with a lot of people that are here. I believe this is my family. This is where the Lord has called me to be. I've asked the Lord to show me the things that he wants me to do, and he showed me that he wants me to preach the gospel to the world, that he wants me to speak to everybody that I come in contact with. I'm um, here at the Wings. I've been here about a year, and um, I'm from Dallas, Texas. I was a nurse. I was a nurse for 15 years, and um, I accidentally got hooked on painkillers. And um, I became so addicted to them that I began to call in my own prescriptions and break the law to get them. And I eventually lost my nursing license because of that. And um, after one day when I was looking for painkillers, I couldn't find painkillers, so um, a friend offered me heroin. 
And I, um, I got hooked on heroin, and I couldn't stop. And I lost my uh, marriage, my house, my cars, my career, my son. I lost everything. I ended up homeless, and um, I lived in the streets of Dallas, Texas, um, in hotels, in cars, on the streets, under bridges, homeless shelters, wherever I could find a place to stay. I wanted to kill myself. Every day, I hated waking up. I, could, I, I, I couldn't stop using. I wanted to stop using. I cried every day because I missed my son so much and my family, but I couldn't stop. And I was just so broken, and, and I cried out to the Lord for help. And, um, and one day, I decided to look. I started praying every day, every day, Lord, help me. Just leave me somewhere. But I didn't have any money. I didn't know what to do. My family stopped talking to me. And so I, um, this last place I called said that they, um, they didn't have any room, but I um, said, so, well, do you know anywhere, anywhere I can go because I'm desperate. I'm so desperate to get somewhere. And he said, well, there's a place called Wings of Life in Mobile, Alabama. I don't even know if they're still open, but they might be able to help you. I had a friend that went to the program six years ago, and he's doing really good. So I called information, and I called Wings of Life, and Minister Inez answered the phone. And she asked me two questions. The second question was, when can you be here? And um, it was just like me just my ears. And I called my mom and she me a bus ticket. And she, um, she said, I don't know, if, you know, Carrie, if I can help you or not. But she called me back about 30 minutes later and she said, I'm going to drive you. And so she drove me to Wings of Life. And um, ever since I walked in the door, it's just been like the best thing that's ever happened to me. God brought me here. Um, they welcomed me like a family. Everybody here did. And a week after I got here, I just surrendered fully to the Lord. And He's done so much in my life. He's completely restored every family relationship that I um, that was broken because of my drug use. Hey, my name's Kim Collier. I'm. Um, 43, and um, um, let's see, in the year of 09, I was in a bad car accident on the way to the methadone clinic. And I got, they sat flighted me, and I was in a wheelchair for a year. Didn't think I was going to walk again. Going to church, and God was so good to me. I walked in there. But I messed up and went back. Using and when I lost my baby sister, which 21 months apart, she had been two and a half years ago, and and I relapsed when she when I lost her because it was so close. And then uh, when they took some hardware out of my knee, and I got staff, and I went real real weak and I was going to pain management and uh, and I was doing a little medicine wrong and uh, and I OD and I and I woke up and my daughter was next to me and I was strapped down and they had those two down me and they said that we can't take it out until you can breathe on your own. And I was laying there and I couldn't do it on my own. And I just said, dear God, help me. And just as soon as I said that, I could breathe. Just as soon as I said that. And my family wanted to get me into treatment. And, and I called Miss Inez. And she said, come on. And I made it here, and and I struggled at first so much, but I've been in treatment before, but this place is just so different. My family wanted to send me off because they scared I would leave, but I'm from Mobile. But here, now, I don't want to leave. Like, I went on a little a path, and I was ready to come back. <laughs> But I love the Wings of Life, and I just thank everybody that supports the Wings of Life. 
and thank Jesus. Jesus is not on the job. Here it will be.